back to Lloyd and JD, the best fucking podcast in the world. I am Lloyd. I'm JD. And this is... Petrify. My name's Keon, and... I'm Ethan. For yep. love of God, someone introduced their name. Oh my God, I know. For it. Usually there's like an awkward silence Silence there. and then a prompt. Yeah, <laughs> so... Thank it's you. okay, we got this. <laughs> we, we got this. He's too confident. Yeah. I don't know about this guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um... So, Petrify, you guys are playing in the other show coming up. Look at him. He's, gra- he's grabbing cards for me and everything. Back yeah. to your route three. I went to the number one, didn't I? Two. I went to number two. Oh, See, I'm two. getting information that right. I never went to number one. No. Okay. I, they, they I went to number one. They've all been good, though. Yeah. They were very like good. Last all time all I was there, I had a great awesome. meal. It's at a different venue this time. It's at Night Owl, am I correct? Yeah. So, um... I had a great meal at the last show, though, yeah. which was at Blind Beggar, which was fantastic. Yeah. I enjoyed the show thoroughly. I had a good table, thanks to Scott, because I was worried about where the fuck I was going to sit, because it, feel- <laughs> it fills up quick at these shows. So I've never been to the Night Owl. Hopefully, I'll make it there. Hopefully, it'll be great. Cool um, venue. Cool is it? Yeah. I've never been there. I put, I, we, lots of books. I yeah. heard about DJing and stuff. They have, they have like, like uh, they have like two levels to the venue. Like Upstairs has kind of got like a 70s cool dance floor. Go? Yeah. Like I want to, I want to yeah. make sure when I go there, I'm hanging out with the right. Cool, well, definitely cool upstairs then, because the downstairs venue is full of books for the fucking nerds. Yeah, oh. it's like, <laughs> see, <laughs> they're not even they're not even real books. It's for like nerds who like don't have the commitment to be nerds. Okay, this which is, is the worst I kind. Need. Yeah, yeah. Fuck them. Still right? go downstairs. Yeah. Like 100. Okay, I so totally play downstairs. I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. I totally <laughs> play downstairs. He's read all them books. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your kind of sound? What's your band? Uh, so, <sighs> fill me in. Um, I guess, like, for fans of, like, Converge and, like, Norma Jean, um, the main reason, I guess, I started this band, like, back in 2013 with a friend. Like, we started in a basement. Um, it was That's just... the best way to start. Yeah. Fuck and, the garage, right? Yeah. We're starting in the basement. Fuck the, fuck the garage. You can't... Hot. There's no... Yeah, exactly. It's too hot. Um, <laughs> we, uh... And your bed's in the basement, too. So there's that. But, yeah, like... Uh, I was just talking to a friend who was like, I want to be in a band that sounds like the Chariot. And then we did, and we don't sound like the Chariot. <laughs> so there you go. Epic. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, we've been we've been on a couple tours. A uh, couple tours, nice. Yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, well, first time we fucking bamboozled our way across Canada. Um, what do you like do Western when you bamboozle? Canada. You just fuck up the entire time. Okay. Yeah. I like, I, yeah. I bamboozle everywhere. Yeah, that was pretty even, good. Yeah, even when I fly, we bamboozle the whole way. Yeah. It's great. I'm going to get kicked off the plane. Sweet. It's good times. Bamboozle so, yourself right into a hole. Yeah, many. Yeah. So you went across Canada? Yeah, uh, Western Canada. Thank and God, then, right? Yeah. Because yeah. the Eastern way. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm, then, I'm, then you I'm get, just being yeah. mean, but really. Th- oh, then you get Jesus. out there, like, beyond that. It's like, the drive there if you're gonna yeah. make it there because yeah. you might just kill yourself. Yeah, yeah. The endless like, fields if you've ever, and no cows. Like, where are the fucking cows? Yeah, like, who killed it's the like, fucking we, cows? We went as far as Winnipeg last year, and it was like it was like even fucking, the cows migrated. Yeah, like, it was like this, it was man. like driving through purgatory. Right. Like, when is it, and the fact that you can't see anything, like there's not even like a town on the horizon. You're like, I'm no, I'm close to nothing. Yeah. If I was to just stop right now, no one would fucking care or know good, or hear me. Good, right. good people though. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. Once you get there, good people. But yeah, if you can make the drive and argue. pay the toll to the they ferry, have, <laughs> they have to be because nobody talks about Manitoba. <laughs> like, Once you really, get there, they really gotta lure you back. Well, no. Yeah. The, we have this. They've got to try. We have this running joke that like everybody in Winnipeg is just fucking over it. Like we had some. Du- <laughs> we had like eight cases of people like walking out onto freeways. Yeah. Like broad daylight, no stop That'll sites, happen. just fucking walking out on the freeways. They're like, end it, I'm yeah, done. That, that would be me. <laughs> just the next it. thing that hits me, it's fucking yeah, over. Yeah. That's the drive there. I almost shot myself. Yeah. We turned around halfway and was like, yeah. So you have never made done. it that far out east. It can't be done. <laughs> to me, to me, <laughs> Saskatchewan's <laughs> east of Canada. You won't come it's the end of the way. world. You yeah. can't be done. That's why, so many, that's why so many bands do fucking drugs. It's because they have to do drives like that. It just drops off when you get there. It's just a hole. Yeah. yeah, I've never actually gotten to the end of it. So I actually have a picture on my Facebook, so you can check that out. And it's me and my mom sitting down on the side of the road, halfway out there, smoking a joint. Like, fuck this, we're going back. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, Calgary's closer to whatever the fuck we are driving to. So, did you guys, when you went out, have you been out east as far? You oh, as only as only as far as Winnipeg. If you'd made it that far, why not go to Toronto? Yeah, right. Why uh, don't you finish that off? Largely because of well, time constraints and. Uh, 
Yeah, poverty. Mm-hmm. By and large, mm-hmm. crippling. Ethan wasn't even in the band at that point. Like, we were paying a fucking guy to come on tour with us. And, like, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Every day, we just yeah. lose money. <laughs> it, was, it was brutal. And he just, yeah. yeah. Story of my life. Yeah. Story of his life. Just didn't. Your life. Didn't, didn't pan out. Poverty. Help us out. Although, you know what? I uh, We came off of that tour and we were like, uh, we felt like kind of stronger for it because it was like, okay, if we can do something that shitty and still want to be in it's a It's like band, a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah. we've just been through some some shit. Yeah. You know, you still like, have separate with those eight guys, but I'm going to look Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yes, yeah, strengthens the band. I think we encourage just sleeping with dudes, though, for sure. You for <laughs> fucking around, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I took you serious there for a little bit. <laughs> was, okay, it must have been a really good tour then. Oh you guys had a lot of fun. <laughs> Out east. <laughs> Deep east. Yeah. And, and west, you just went Calgary West? Did you hit Edmonton? Yeah, yeah. We, Edmonton uh, uh, we, we went to Edmonton on our first one. On this, on the second one, we like kind of did Edmonton. Like mm. We played a fucking garage to like 20 people, and that was fun as hell, but it wasn't yeah. like for real. And then uh, Vancouver. That was for what happened. <laughs> uh, uh, Vancouver was sick. Like Vancouver's always. Yeah, sick. we had some we had some boys out there in a band called No Boy, which is rad. You should band camp them, if you have the time. Um, but they uh, they they hooked us up. Like I remember, like we were playing this show and with, like? with with some money. Like we had been oh. getting stiff the whole tour, and we show up, and they're like. Uh, yeah, so we talked to the rest of the bands and just all the door proceeds just fucking have it. And I cried. I just started cried crying. You want to yeah. drugs? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> no that's what I would Can't done. afford. Oh my I, God, where is it? There? Can't, can't afford drugs. <laughs> you can now. You just got the money. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's true. Tomorrow you won't be that's able true. to afford drugs. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I yeah. spent it all. Yeah, I'd and, be horrible in a band. And that's good because Van- <laughs> Vancouver is notoriously known for Granada being smell. really cheap on paying bands and really know. oh yeah and getting bills at the end of the night you know it's like oh you oh. have to pay security you have to pay this guy you have to pay this guy yeah. and then you're you so know. you got it you got it good yeah you lucky. see although we weren't dealing with the promoter like a lot oh, okay. of a lot right. of t- like it was just it, the bands had just set it up and it was in it's some guy's generous like, fucking house yeah. which was sick <laughs> that was actually cool see, as hell. No rules. and that's probably yeah. the better way to do things like the more and more i hear from a lot of bands i mean the more house that venues. you have control over things and not paying percentages to this guy, that yeah, guy, and the abs- other guy. Absolutely. You know, it's uh, absolutely like I'm not. I'm not going to name names. And 99 percent of the promoters I've worked with have been sick. Names and names. But but every <laughs> every once in a while, there's just Pretty some brutal. fucking knob who's like, man, oh, you know, after paying my sound guy and paying this guy and paying that guy, I don't have money. It's like it's called a guarantee. You should have the fucking money in your wallet. Like. Yeah. Let's go to the ATM. <laughs> Sorry, he doesn't pay the bills, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but cut his head off yeah. for collateral. E- even, even mm-hmm. then, like take a couple fingers. Yeah, we, <laughs> right. <laughs> we That's d- where you start taking a couple fingers. We, punches. we don't make money anyways, mm-hmm. so yeah. it's like fucking just like at least make it so we don't have to pay for it. That's all I want. Right. Just yeah. break even. Yeah, I'm totally Breaking happy to be in the black. Okay I'll fucking do that, no problem, all day. That is yeah. that is my thoughts on everything as well as yeah. and i'm happy with that all the time mm-hmm. even when i spent money on arctic stuff yeah. as long as i break even i've, I've okay. heard horror stories with 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 what you're describing where it's like oh we didn't make that much money we didn't have that much pull and all that kind of stuff like you know, it's like, like a bag of we, dicks we gotta yeah. we gotta pay you a little right? bit less and then they go back and there'll be a stack of money in the safe they'll just like pull out this big chunk of money and yeah. Yeah, but that's for hookers and kind of blow like, jd <laughs> have you ever bought hookers and blow it's fucking expensive okay yeah, so, Jesus. Yeah, so all the hookers I yeah i gotta pay for all the hookers i gotta pay for all the blow at the end of it all i got yeah. nothing left yeah, yeah. Life of being a producer. <laughs> just the way it shakes out. I need to get into the producing business because it se- it sounds good. Do it up. <laughs> the next time you guys are at a show, I'm gonna be the guy like, dude, I had to pay the sound guy. <laughs> oh, I think I know how it works. <laughs> no, the produ- the the promoter is the guy who does that. The producer is the knob who tells you, okay, so you need to have a more simple kind of feel to okay, this. Okay, so you I know gotta that be part's both. really good. So I gotta be both. Yeah. yeah, be the uber dick. I'm pretty right. sure I could pull that off. I gotta get a new job. Gotta get a new job. Totally. Uh, look, out for me. look out for me on the music scene, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Trouble coming your way. Yeah. So you guys are playing at Back to Roots. Um, usually at Back to Roots, you guys do a cover yeah. of a band. And then mixed in, you guys do some of your own yeah. original music. So who are you guys covering? Nirvana. Nirvana. Yeah. That's brave. Did you do this on purpose? <laughs> 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 I feel like there was a... 
Hell, I love Nirvana. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one of my all times. Uh, wow. You, you take Good, it. I hope I'm this. fucking with you. I that hope. was a little bit of sarcasm. <laughs> I I'm not a fucking rude. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm not an, a big Nirvana fan. Don't know much about them. JD's. Uh, really? You know this. I know. Right. We, we had a discussion about how he didn't know Dave Grohl was in Nirvana. Oh, for fuck's, really? for fuck's sake. <laughs> I know none of those bands. I don't even like... What's the other one he's yeah. in? The fucking... Foo, the Foo Fighters. I don't like We them. had to discuss who Dave Grohl actually was at one point. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes it's a musical yeah. education. Who yeah, right? Dave okay, now I'm glad I didn't bring my guitar player because he hears you don't know who Foo Fighters is and he would have done one of these. Oh, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> it would have been great. Just straight it up been left. Yeah. It would have been great. I usually I'm do one so, of these. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Cry me a river. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So why Nirvana? Uh well they've they like it's it's undeniable the influence they've had on bands like ours. Like even though we're like obviously a super heavy kind of like more like hardcore geared towards metal kind of sound. Yeah. Like the the amount of Nirvana riffs we write in a day is fucking stupid. <laughs> like Yeah. Um that and it was it was in my range. Like, let's be real. He, yeah. Kurt Cobain, great great songwriter, terrible singer. It's like, I could do it. Yeah, I so could I'm do saying. it. Yeah, right. I yeah. just can't listen to it. <laughs> I just can't listen to it. Like, I I, <laughs> I always get hate for this shit. Like, it's, I I, 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 like I know we read it out earlier. They, I feel like that's the charm. <laughs> they, of it, though. they did a lot like, for the music. Like, he was a good a good band and that. Mm-hmm. Lot, you know, everyone likes him and that. But I just can't listen to it. I can't yeah. physically sit down and be like, fuck, this is good. I sit down and I'm like, I want to fucking kill someone. That yeah. that literally disturbed something inside of me I didn't know existed. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he can't decide if he likes them or not. Really. He's like, I like Nirvana, now I yeah. want to kill myself. I like what they stood for and stuff. I like, you know... The politics of it. Yeah, yeah. but I'm not a lover of the music. No. But it's the same with the Beatles and shit for me. Like I think the Beatles are shite. Yeah. But everyone's like, oh, the Beatles are amazing. They yeah. are fucking shite. Have you ever actually sat down and listened to the Beatles? Because <laughs> yeah. I don't think you have. Because if I got listened to a Yellow Submarine one more yeah. time, I will shit the bed. <laughs> that song is bloody we, awful. We, we should put a list of the bands that you really don't like underneath. And it is it's getting like to be a long list. Like, I mean, overrated. we've got Nirvana's in they there. Are. Oh, Beatles are in there. Um... Who else is ACDC? Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. I think ACDC is overrated as fuck. Oh, they're overrated. It's like, okay, I, I can imagine being Man. like their singer and being Off like, all right, this song's about going to hell and, and now, sex with women. And, and, and this song's about being a badass and sex with women. <laughs> and this song is about sex with women and sex with women. And I just like... And now... <laughs> but they're unapologetic about it. Is it, Fair is it true yeah. that Guns N' Roses guy is going to be singing yeah. that? Axl Rose, Rose will be the lead. Now I want to blow my... Balls off of a bloody shotgun. Shotgun to the dick yeah. rather than listen to that album. Well, that's, like, that's are way, you kidding me? Speaking, just to circle back around to Nirvana, that's way more creative than Kurt did it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I said that shit right now, but I did. So. That's the only way to do it. You sit there shotgun and bleed to, to death. the dick. Yeah, yeah, and then bleed listening to that <laughs> shite. What a sissy. What? I cannot believe that they so picked I guess, him to play. So I guess Lloyd's not coming to the show, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, no. Oh, well. Like I said... You guys, we'll, the, the we'll, covers are great. You guys we'll do. We'll go on to play. He'll be like smoke break. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you guys but, do great covers, but it's when I go to hear you guys' original stuff. It's, you know, mm. even when I go to see the shows, I see you guys play the covers. The covers are awesome, but your original stuff always stands out the most. Yeah. And, and, and even and seeing the, the past way. shows, the original stuff really yeah. stands out for me the most. So I've enjoyed the original stuff the most. I feel like for 90% of the people there, like, they're drunk enough that they don't care if it's a good cover. It's just like, if I recognize the song. And that's what's and bringing, that's, and that's what's a good that's idea, a good right? Because it yeah. brings people in yeah. for the song yeah. that they're going to recognize. Kind of on that. And then hearing your original stuff, them. sometimes you can yeah. literally sit there and be like, you know, this song is way fucking better. Not because the first one obviously was a cover, it was not your original song, you're not going to have the same effort and fucking yeah. into something that you didn't write, didn't perform. Yeah. So the originals always come off. Yeah. Amazing. So, yeah. you know, yeah. the yeah. show that I went to, the originals were splendid. Yeah. I and, and that's what I always say about uh, the show. Like, I, I've been to all of them so far. Oh, is that, hey? Hey? I've been to all of them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It is that <laughs> I, I think it's a great idea to do covers to bring people in because then they've got something they recognize. Yeah. But like Lloyd is saying, it's it's your your guys' music that typically stands out for me. That's that's what I what I want to hear. Um, and it's a good way to introduce people to to your sound and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And and for them to know, like I mean, obviously Nirvana's influenced, like you said, in your writing of riffs. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's good to see you know sort of where you come from. I know it. Next back to roots. Is yeah. someone going to be covering the Beatles now? I know. I just know. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> 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 I 
Lloyd special. Yeah. The Lloyd special will be <laughs> Nirvana. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, yes. oh <laughs> sickening. Today is Tom Sawyer. <laughs> sickening. Me, me the and face Pat. of date rape. Yeah. Like, honestly, if, oh they, if, they, if they ever had, like, a poster, <laughs> if they ever had, like, a poster that was, like, advertising, like, not to get date rape, he would be on it. Like, oh, my God. In the corner of, like, a I bag thought, of blue pills. I thought, I thought you were just referring to the fact that every creepy dude has a rush van, not the fact that, like, we circled right back around. We were like, no, Rush are the guys who are responsible. It's a cult. Rush and everyone that listens to them, 100%. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Like, they, they birthed dairy, yeah. man, 100%. <laughs> That shit's good. Today's Can't Tom Sawyer. Just... Yeah, that guy creeps the shit on me. If he came down an alleyway, I would run. <laughs> this is some scary shit. If right I there. didn't, if I didn't know he was the dude singing Tom Sawyer, I probably would too. I'd probably be able to <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus, that's he looks like the skeleton thing from like the Batman comics. It's yeah, no. Skeletor. <laughs> ah, He Man. <laughs> With long I'm going hair. to I'm going to With write long... songs about you, He Man, you fucker. With long <laughs> hair, which makes it super creepy. It's all like stuck to his face when yeah. he's singing. Oh no. Gruesome. That's grim, dude. <laughs> totally grim. But I can, yeah, I can see the next Back to Root show being. I like, like that band. Just, just I don't a, even care. Lots of people love that. I band. don't even care. But I just can't. Maybe we'll do that when we have we come to our hundredth episode, which is coming up. Maybe we'll we'll promote a show where bands do songs that you. Absolutely. Just like Fallen Leaves. <laughs> have yeah, have, there have you go. Have fallen, a, fallen Leaves. Have a Nickelback yeah. band cover tribute band come oh, out. I actually don't mind some Nickelback. Oh my track. god. See, that, <laughs> where no, are you see, even this, at? Okay, wait, wait. I'm going to take a minute right now because this where pisses me off. See, see, see what I have to deal with on an ongoing not, basis? Okay, <laughs> this is what gets me. Nevada, I can't sit there. It's like it's in a white noise. But then, like, <laughs> you see, Nickelback's one of those bands where it's just uh. it's just catchy crap. It's just catchy crap. When okay, it comes yeah. on the radio, yeah. fucking everyone's like, oh, I hate Nickelback. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You look in the mirror, everyone's in the back like, yeah, I actually, yeah, all right, yeah, you hate that shit. I, I see you. I read a super interesting article on Nickelback the other day. It was talking about how, like, the problem isn't that they're a bad band. The problem is that they do all these things, like, almost too well for a band that would be genuine about it. Right. Like it feels it feels like kind of derivative, but like it's right in the sweet spot of like, yeah, it would be it would be good for you hard can just rock sit there and listen to it. Yeah, and you, you're full of shit if you don't know the lyrics. Yeah, that's you're true. actually full and, of shit. And, and that's don't... that's 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 their argument is that yeah. it's like it's like almost too good exactly. to be but true. But when you listen to Nirvana, you've got to love that shit, or you're gonna be like, oh man, will you? Sh- uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> also think they're a kind of a victim of Canadian content rules as well. For yeah, radio play because yeah. Hey, the like moment Mr. Noodle. that somebody is good. They get played the absolute shit out of, and, and that's but that that's can go great. Really bad. Like you got Pink Floyd. Yeah. If they play another brick in the wall one right. more time, I'm gonna shoot myself in the dick. Like I cannot. Like you put the radio on, and it's the same Pink Floyd song you've listened to for the last ten years. Yeah. Another brick in the wall. Yeah. Another brick in the wall. Hey, why don't you play another brick in the wall? I haven't listened to that yeah. in five minutes. Yeah. Like it's how can yeah. you ruin one of the best bands ever? Yeah. By playing one brick in the wall over and fucking over again. Yeah. And then maybe throwing money in there once in a while. <laughs> Get fucked. Like they had album after album, and those are the two songs they choose to yeah. play relentlessly. Yeah, but that's what yeah, I'm getting true. at. They release something, it's it's decent Canadian content rules. It will get played on every yeah, station just... all the time. You will hear it five times a day. If it's a good song, you might be fine with it for the first yeah. week, two weeks, three weeks, and then at a certain point, you just like, I like don't for love hear of that God, song. put on I some ABBA. On that, on that <laughs> note, yeah, like. Never gets that, that. That's that's super true. Like I've heard of country stations, country stations, yeah. country stations <laughs> playing Alexis on fire. Like when they released the Northern, so it's not like real Alexis on yeah. fire, but it's like that was on a country station yeah. because of Canadian content. Why would they rules. want to do that? Because like, of Canadian content rules. And like radio stations have to play a certain amount of Canadian content. <laughs> <laughs> See, they don't even like that rule. Yeah. I think I think it makes it's one of those those rules that like totally makes sense on paper, but the execution of it has been a little lackluster. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, now we have to listen to Avril Lavigne, Celine Dion, <laughs> bloody <See>. fucking. <laughs> what, what I wish radio stations would do hey, hey, is that they would instead of playing stuff like okay. Nickelback every other song is maybe play the Nickelback songs, play whatever the Avril Lavigne songs. And actually play up and coming artists a little more, and yeah. give people that that are looking for their break a break, right? Yeah. So I mean, hit I, your Canadian content rule, hit your Canadian content that way, you know. 
on the well, just station. fuck off and play good music. Just on if it's good and local <laughs> or if it's good and not local, fuck put it on. If someone calls in and asks for a song, put it on. Like I hate when they say call in and ask for a song. It has to be within their list. Right. It's yeah. like no, 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 no. Listen, I called in with a song. You play the song, or I'm gonna. I'm not going to say something I'm going to regret over the air. I don't think I have ever requested suicidal tendencies and had it put on the radio. That's yeah, lame. But that's, that's lame. Institutionalized. Yeah. All they wanted was a can of Pepsi, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Fucking assholes. So if uh, guys are looking to find you guys, you guys have an album out currently? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have like a... I don't really know if we'd call it an album, but it's like a half EP hour music. Or, yeah. yeah. It's not it's like it's like halfway between. It's like a Oh for fuck's sake. Get him. Get him. It's like it's like a ba- it's like a baby album right. big boy EP kind of. Like it's between wow. the two. Yeah. yeah. Baby album yeah. EP. Little um, baby. So if you if they want to pick up your baby album EP. Yeah. <laughs> you can get it for free under Bandcamp. Uh Free. Yeah. Petrified.bandcamp.com. We also have CDs that you can pick up um at the show. Yeah, well. or you or you can or, you can order them online. We'll send you a poster and a sticker with it. So when nice. is yeah. when's the big show coming up? June eleventh. June eleventh. Yeah. Night owl. Yep. What time do people go be there? Do you buy? Can you buy tickets at the door? You can. Tickets are at the door. You can buy tickets in advance. You guys have tickets, I assume. Uh, not yet. Not yet. I think they're coming. We will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, they can get yeah. touch of you on Facebook, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, everyone's got book face these days. Yeah, everyone's got it. And if you can find our band, you can find my name under the members. Just message me, I'll hook you. Yeah, up. and the links will be below under yeah. the video, so we'll always spread those out. You can yeah. even get in touch with Lloyd and JD, and I'm sure we'll get a hold of some tickets for you. Yeah, you um, can help out in that department. As I well, even absolutely. I even just got a car thanks to Based Harper's tax return, so I can drive and bring you some tickets. <laughs> God, God bless our lizard king Har- Harper. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. It was great having thanks you. Thanks for having I'll, me. Yeah, I'll see you at the show and I'll yeah, check out your music. Cool. Maybe I'll uh, pick so, up my anything CD. you want to say before yeah, do, we go? Do you want to wanna pitch? I got nothing. He's, uh, he's, got, <laughs> he's a man of few words, but there's a twinkle in his eye that tells me he's God's gift in, in the musical industry. He's so. actually the That's coolest false. guy in our band. So He's yeah, the coolest he's guy? The so coolest when I come guy. to the bar, I can it. stand next to this guy? Because he knew exactly what to do with his hands yeah, when he came on. Yeah. He's, he's way cooler than all of us. I got a few tricks with my hands. <laughs> I don't. I just want to learn certain tricks. I don't know if I want to go the whole. Bass guitar nine is not one of those tricks. Oh really? Okay. Mm. Don't okay. expect much. Okay. After okay. the show, though, we'll talk. I don't. I don't. I'm scared to talk now. He's gonna put his hands somewhere where they don't belong. Yeah. Well, I'm Lloyd. Like I'm him. JD. We're Petrify. So. Peace. See ya. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Totally. I really don't.